Hey, this is Omni from Assemble the Chariots. Kevin Apostol from Assemble the Chariots. You're watching Green TV. First of all, how are you guys doing today? We're doing pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a hot day full of uh, amazing bands, so what could go wrong? It's a hot day. I still managed to do the dirt, the dirt leg. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna put a cape on top as well. And then we're gonna crawl into the hole and do the show. And we'll do stuck on stage. It's, yes, sir. It's pretty, uh, it's cool to be there, but it's also pretty, uh, um, it's yeah. gonna get it. And I can imagine with like a show like, like you guys, I, I've seen you once at uh, Helsinki Metal Horizons. Mm. Um, that show I still remember. I, I don't think I'll ever forget. People literally fought each other to their death from the first song to the last song. It never stopped. It was amazing. Yeah. It was my it was my first time seeing it. Was like, okay. <laughs> um. Anyway, like mostly here to to have a bit of a chat about your um, upcoming album. Yeah. Um. I I got the pleasure to to already like listen to it in advance. Um. I have to say, damn. <laughs> Good reaction. <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah. Like I've, I've known your music before. I uh, was always quite impressed with like your unique um, kind of sound. I mean, mm -hmm. it's always been kind of categorized as deathcore, but I thought you always had like a very unique style. Yep. Um, but now you've taken that like. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a step further, but. <laughs> Yeah, f further, uh, further to the direction uh, we always sort of went for. And I say we, full well knowing and like embracing the fact that Kevin is the one who, you know, musically uh, does everything. Like, uh, so Kevin has been like going for it. But yeah, um, the Deathcore name is, uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's not. With the new album uh, you've already heard, I, I'd say you'd probably agree with this statement. Uh, Deathcore term per se, I don't think is a truthful term anymore. It's not that we have any beef with it, but it's just that I wouldn't want to call it Deathcore to a person who's never heard of it and is a Deathcore fan, and then it goes like, "Hey, what is this?" Huh? You know, we prefer extreme metal, right? Because yeah. then you're, you know. Your ears are more open. Yeah, it's a blend of so many different genres, so it's hard to just say it's different. Yeah. And with this album, you're taking like a kind of taking it to like a really, really epic scale. I mean, it's a concept album. It's it's a quite like um, not necessarily easy easy to 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 grasp like story and, and themes. Um, and on top of that, the music itself is, is well, like it said in, in the press text, like cinematic. So, like, I don't know, it's, it's pretty impressive. Thanks. Thank you very much. And that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the reaction we were sort of like hoping for. Kevin, yeah, we aim, aim to, um, to write like a movie like experience. As you said, it's very cinematic. So we wanted to get people um, imagining yourself pressing play on like a movie. Mm -hmm. you know? So we wanted to have that feeling to it. Yeah, like uh, there's still bands that like every now and then um, dare to uh, force the listener to actually listen to a whole album. Yeah, we we absolutely do that. Uh, listen to it, read it, Google it, fucking go through Reddit and like. What the fuck does this mean? Why is this this way and that way? I can't obviously explain too much as of now, but you know, uh, I, as a as a lyricist, I try to make it so that in this world of seven-second focus spans, there's something rewarding to the people who still sort of want to neglect that state of mind, that modern sort of brain rot state of mind. I wanted to give as much small details to find and sort of chew on like I, I I'm a video game nerd so I use the word Easter egg 
right? I remember being like 10 years old and playing uh, fucking Ratchet and Clank. And then when you go to a secret room, there's a picture of Jack and Dexter, even though they're like the, uh, you know, sort of enemy studios, but they still, you know, do yeah. little things like that. I want to do that, you know. And I, I've done that. Every song, lyric-wise, has at least like a pop cultural reference to a video game I like, like and play, and or like a TV show slash movie I like. So, obviously the story is fine, but you know, I, I like to keep uh, keep it full of things to find. And from from what I've understood, this is kind of like the the beginning of like like the whole big plan, if I can say that. Like that there's like a uh, start of a like world creating or something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, logistically, it's a uh, it's the first part of our an, uh, album trilogy. Okay, trilogy. Yeah. And uh, I sort of try to create the universe so that whatever form of whatever medium we want to jump on in the future. Um, we can, and if we want to put a scope into like a past or future or present, but from a different angle, you can do that. Much like big sci-fi fantasy universes in video games and you know white screens as well. But you know, ever since I was a child, I've been totally uh, like infused in those worlds. And I've noticed that when they started to write them, to create the worlds, they weren't meant to be such a big thing. Mm -hmm. So they had to retcon a lot of things. So from the very first thing I started to write, I was like, okay, I'm gonna write too much. I'm gonna write 15,000 times more than I should for this one sentence, this yeah. one line to make sense. And then Kevin's in the studio, person rec, he's like, what? come on man, we just, we just need to do a fucking one-liner. The one line can be from this part of the song, this or that part of the song. I'm like, oh, it has to have a story. It has to fucking, you know. Okay. okay. So, from the four years of making this album, I think three years and eleven months was me and Kevin trying to figure out how can we make each uh, part be a part like of a big, bigger story, you know? uh, movie, if you will. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see it, like. Fully unfold bit by bit. Oh, it will. Yeah, <laughs> it will be interesting. Um, now, well, I mentioned already a couple of times. Like musically, it also went now way more cinematic, um, on a way more epic scale than it's ever been before. Um, just, I just, <laughs> I've been describing it to people. Um, it's like uh, Insomnium with their Winter Skate album. And I wish that made it a bit of a deathcore baby. Nice. <laughs> All right. Because yeah. it really gave me that, like, the, the, the storytelling part of Insomnium. Like, I remember putting that album on, and it's just like, I sat through it, like, before I knew it was at the end, and I felt like I watched a movie, yeah. which I have with your album as well. Yeah. And then that epic scale that, that Tuomas manages to, to make with his composition and such, I find that mm. there as well. So. Nice. Um, now is that is that something that you musically always kind of like veered towards or wanted to do? Or? Yeah, I think that was something that we wanted to do from the very beginning. Okay. But we, we formed this band in 2008. We were very young kids, and technology wasn't that advanced at that time. So during all these years, I've been practicing the like movie scoring and stuff and learning all the sample libraries and how to like imitate these movie soundtracks and stuff so it's been so many years I think like rehearsing that stuff so now finally with this album I felt like we've gone to the point where we can actually put this stuff in the front <laughs> and make this movie happen yeah yeah so it's, um, the, the, all the effort and, and, and work I think it was very much worth it <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been telling uh, your your promoter that uh, for me it's already at the like, uh, end of the year list. It's, it's, it's there somewhere. Uh, I really, really, really uh, like I mean, it. It really vibes with me. <laughs> um, like you're going to do like a, a 
totally show um, about it? Is it is it actually going to be like the like as the album is like oh, yes. is it like yes. some, some special stage stuff it's going? It's going or? to be a very very special show. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to play the album as it is. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that something that's not going to happen that often. Yeah, I, I would say maybe one timer, but. Know, yeah, we don't want to say a one timer because that. Yeah, but we're just gonna put it this way: you should come. Like you really should come. Yeah. Also, IA uh, and Lightbearer—they're there with us. They're amazing, cool guys. Uh, they're gonna do an absolutely amazing job with it. And every 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 part that's in our album, whether it's in our band or from a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Will be present yeah, very much, very much looking forward to it. Sounds like it's uh, going to be quite the experience. Yes, sir. I just got the sign here that we need to uh, <laughs> all right. wrap it up. Um, is there like anything at all that, that you guys would like to say to whoever ends up seeing this? Listen, listen to the album from start to beginning. Do do a service to yourself, and then come. To the release show, 27th of July, in on the rocks. Album release July 19th. Yes. Save the date. All right. Thanks for the quick chat, guys. And Thank you uh, so much. enjoy your show. Have a good one. Thank you. Right. It was great. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.